Are you smart enough to get into Cambridge? Let us see. We need to find the value of x, which satisfies the equation 3 raised to x minus root 3 raised to x plus 4 plus 20 equals 0. Okay, how to even approach this question? First, notice that we have two exponential terms, but with slightly different bases. One is 3 raised to x, and the other is root 3 raised to x plus 4. The key idea is to rewrite both in terms of the same base, which is 3 for this case. So, let us simplify this equation first. Remember that root 3 is just 3 raised to 1 divided by 2. Thus, right here, 3 raised to 1 over 2. Now we have a power rule, which says that if we take a number like a raised to m, and then raise the result to n, we get a raised to m times n. So root 3 raised to x plus 4 becomes 3 raised to 1 over 2 raised to x plus 4, which simplifies to 3 raised to x plus 4 whole divided by 2. Now x plus 4 divided by 2 can be split as x divided by 2 plus 4 over 2 or x over 2 plus 2. Now let us break this expression further using another power rule. If we have a raised to m plus n, it becomes a raised to m multiplied by a raised to n. This is called the product of powers rule. So we now write this as 3 raised to x divided by 2 multiplied by 3 raised to 2. 3 raised to 2 is just 9. So this becomes 9 times 3 raised to x divided by 2. Noise. Look here. We have 3 raised to x, and here we have 3 raised to x over 2. Since we have everything in the same base, now we can look for a clever substitution to turn the problem into something we already know how to solve. Thus let y equals 3 raised to x divided by 2. Then, if you square both sides, the left side becomes y squared, and the right side becomes 3 raised to x divided by 2 squared. Now, if we apply this power rule again, where a raised to m raised to n equals a raised to m times n, then 3 raised to x divided by 2 raised to 2 becomes 3 raised to x divided by 2 times 2. The 2 in the numerator cancels with the 2 in the denominator, leaving just 3 raised to x. Hence, finally, we have y squared equals 3 raised to x. So our whole equation simply becomes y squared minus 9 times y plus 20 equals 0. Now that looks like a familiar quadratic equation in y, and we know how to factor that kind of thing. We look for two numbers that multiply to 20 and add to minus 9. Those two numbers turn out to be minus 5 and minus 4. Hence, the factorization is y minus 5 times y minus 4 equals 0. By the zero product rule, either y equals 5 or y equals 4. Awesome. Finally, we will undo our substitution to recover x. Recall that y was 3 raised to x divided by 2. So, we have two cases, 3 raised to x divided by 2 equals 5, and 3 raised to x divided by 2 equals 4. This kind of question is exactly what a logarithm answers. So for this case, take logarithm on both sides with base 3 to get log base 3 of 3 raised to x by 2 equals log base 3 of 5. Then use this logarithm rule where the log of a raised to b equals b times log of a. So we get this as x over 2 times log base, 3 of 3 equals log base 3 of 5. Also, log of a with base a is equal to 1, and thus we are left with x over 2 equals log base 3 of 5. Now multiply both sides by 2 to solve for x, and we get x equals 2 times logarithm of 5 with base 3, and that's it. This is approximately 2.93 in decimals. Now let me know in the comments what will be the value of x when 3 raised to x over 2 equals 4. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.